Hi guys and girls. Um, a little, um, little bit of advice for uh, our better players, uh, our good amateurs, our pros. Um, a little game that uh, I like to uh, incorporate into, into 18 holes when you're practicing. Um, it's, uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm on the, uh, the fifth hole at Alfarini. Um, I hit a pretty good tee shot. I left myself about 100 yards in. Uh, so, you know, a little, uh, a little 54 degree wedge. And as you can probably see where my ball is, uh, I think it's a pretty poor shot in. I've left myself, well, maybe 30 feet short of the flag. Um, now this game is um, uh, what it requires. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not. My ball is closer to the edge of the green than it is to the flag. Um, so when you, when you have uh, this uh, situation, I want you to draw the golf ball to the nearest, uh, to the nearest fringe and play it from there. Um, one, it makes it obviously extremely difficult to put a score together if you're not uh, hitting it close enough. If you um, calculate how many times you had to draw the golf ball off the green, uh, if, if that number starts getting uh, you know, above uh, five, six, seven times, uh, there's a good chance you're not, you're not hitting it close enough to the flags. Um, and it also stops you from uh, doing things like short-siding yourself. So for example, if I was to miss here, which is still only uh, you know 10 feet away from the flag, uh, but it's on the wrong side of the flag. It's too close to to making that mistake of being uh, too far too far left of the flag from here. Um, it's a really good game to uh, to really challenge yourself, get yourself hitting at the right side of the flags, and get you to hit it close enough. Uh, gives you good feedback on how you're doing into the green. So um, give that a try, see what you can shoot, and see if you can play a round of golf with no drawbacks, and uh, you'll be doing well from there.